Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to discuss how you're going to execute your Playwright test on multiple browsers. In the previous video, I have covered about Playwright config file and the option or the concept of projects within that config file and a lot of other test configurations within that file. Now, if you would have gone through the documentation, you would have already figured out how to execute your test case on multiple browser. But anyways, I'm going to cover those details in the Playwright config file, how you're going to run your test cases on multiple projects, okay, or multiple browsers. So if you see your Playwright config file below here, you will see that there's a project section. And within the project section, you have different project with name Chrome, Firefox, WebKit, right? Now these are the projects configured to execute your test cases on the different browsers that are configured within the project. Okay, so you'll see that you have the name, which is the name of the project, which is again, the browser name, and then what exactly needs to be used. So use within the project, use tag within the project will help to use whatever browser is required to be executed, right? So for example, this is for the Chromium. So you just say use desktop Chrome. Okay, so if I uncomment this at the moment, I have commented. So let me uncomment all of these, right? So you'll see that we are able to execute test cases on all different browsers. So you have this Chrome, Firefox and WebKit. And as well as we can also test against the mobile viewports, right? Not the mobile app or mobile device, but mobile viewport. So basically when we say mobile viewport, it's more of a particular mobile device, the, the resolution screen resolution of a browser on that particular mobile device whatever resolution will be there that's what the resolution will be uh, taken care for example if i am saying okay test mobile chrome how it appears in pixel 5 right or how iphone mobile safari appears in iphone 12 so i can go ahead and uncomment these as well okay so let me remove this so now you will see then you have also option test against branded browser right now these configurations that you see the chromium firefox these are the browsers that are packaged within the playwright package when you download and then you download the playwright browsers as well right the chrome firefox so they these are also downloaded and then the test cases are executed in the packaged one but say for example you want to execute against a branded browser or the browser that is installed on your machine or on the server then you have to go ahead and configure this particular section so you can also go ahead and test against a brand branded browser so i can go ahead okay and comment this as well or the chrome browser as well so all of these then will get configured so we have uncommented chrome and edge and now you might be wondering can we do it on the branded firefox as well but playwright doesn't support the branded firefox version so you have to rely on whatever is supported here so basically chromium firefox and webkit why we'll go through the documentation you will see that here if i go to the documentation of the Firefox. Playwright's Firefox version matches the recent Firefox table build. So whatever Playwright bundles or the Firefox that you will install from the Playwright installation matches the recent Firefox table build. It doesn't support the branded version of the Firefox since it relies on patches, right? So they have given the reason as well. So the branded version won't be supported here, but then anyways, you have the Firefox coverage in here, right? And the branded coverage is required or specifically is required in different scenarios. Only if it is required, you can go ahead and do it for the mobile viewports. If it is required, you go ahead and configure, right? So we have uncommented all of these configurations and you can go through the documentation and you can see what all different other browser configurations and the channels are supported and you can configure those into the projects and execute. Okay, so now we have uncommented and configured. So let me save this. And if I will go ahead and execute the test now, right? So for example, I just execute one test case, which is this fixtures and context. Okay, let's see that if it gets executed on all the browsers that are that we have configured, we have configured some of the branded browsers, and then we have configured some of the viewports, right? So you can you can see now it is running on seven tests using two workers, right, which is more, more of a parallel execution. So you see the execution happening. So Firefox, 
Chrome and you will see the Firefox browser is launched now and this is the bundled version of the Firefox. Now this is the WebKit which is the Safari engine or Safari browser and this is the viewport right so we have configured different viewports in our execution as well so you'll see the browser automatically resizing and executing in viewports and this is the branded browser this is the edge browser that is installed on my machine and now the ex execution is happening on that and now the last test is the chrome browser which is not the bundled one but the branded the installed version which is there on my machine and the execution happened on that right so you'll see seven of the test cases being executed they passed and this is the list report that we have configured that's how the list report will really look like so all of the test cases will be shown in a list format on your screen okay and then you can go ahead and see the html report using this command npx playwright show report on your command line so if we go ahead and execute and open the report we'll go through the report and see the report how it looks like okay so you'll see whatever projects you have configured right so we have configured chromium with the, the name chromium firefox those names will appear there and then against that what test cases have been executed for example you'll see microsoft edge safari mobile chrome WebKit. so if you go to the config file these are the names that we basically configured right so firefox webkit mobile chrome mobile safari edge microsoft edge and google chrome right that's what you are seeing in the report if you go and see the report you will get the screenshot being taken and these screenshots you can configure you can turn on and off and that's also from the global config the, the playwright config that we have configured that's that's what i was discussing in the last video so i have turned on the screenshot right so it's that simple within playwright you don't have to rely on external engine to take the screenshot you can configure a screenshot on fail only on failure or always turn on or just turn it off so it will based on the configuration that you do here it will take screenshot or do not take screenshot or only take screenshot on the failures okay so that's how basically you can go ahead and configure your test case or the test configuration or playwright configuration to execute your test cases on multiple browsers branded browsers or mobile viewports for the test cases so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you see you in the next one